Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students and our viewers, welcome to the channel English Literature and Linguistic, a channel for literature lovers. In the previous video, I have discussed formalism, and in the same video, I have mentioned two types of formalism or two schools of thoughts of formalism, such as Russian formalism and new criticism. The current video is about Russian formalism and let's start our topics without any delay. In this video, we are going to discuss these topics. What is Russian formalism? What are the two groups of Russian formalism? Some prominent Russian formalists Stages of formalism, defamiliarization, literariness, failure, and suicide. Let's proceed to our topic. And the first one is what is uh, Russian formalism? Russian formalism is a school of literary studies that emerged in the second decade of the 20th century. It originated in the study of language, language dialect, and folklore at the Moscow Linguistic Circle established in 1915 and in the work of the Petrograd Society for the Study of Poetic Language. Asian formalism led the foundation of modern literary theory. These formalists were first to see literature as an autonomous domain of theoretical inquiry, steering away from aesthetic sociology, psychology, and history, and seeking support in linguistics. Formalists hold that the true meaning can be determined by analyzing the literary elements of the text and by understanding how these elements work together to form a, a cohesive whole. Russian families rejected the claim that the life of an author determines the types of literature that he produces. They also oppose the claim that only those things which can be filled with the senses and verified are real and worthy in life. They did not fear the use of historical, sociological and other type of knowledge for interpreting literature. They never believed that poetic language was referential in nature and did not entertain subjective readings of works of literature. They were professed opposer of the symbolist movement. In the coming videos, Russian formalists will be analyzed more deeply. A prominent Russian formalist for the following, Victor Shklovsky, Raman Jakobson, Yuri Tainainio, Boris Ekambam, Osip Brek, Boris Tomorrow Whiskey, Vladimir Frog, a factory. Bogatrio. Let's proceed to our next topic. There are two groups of Russian formalism and these are the following. Number one, the Moscow Linguistic Circle led by Roman Jakobson. This school was established in 1915 and other leading formalists of this group are Osibrek and Boris Tomashvisky. The other group is the Society for the Study of Poetic Language, OFIAS. This group was established in 1916 and the leading figures of this group included Victor Shklovsky, Boris Echambal, and Yuri Tainanov. 
So another important critic associated with these movements include Leo Jokabinsky and the folklorist Vladimir Trop. There are three stages of Russian formalism or uh, in other words of formalism. Before its decline or collapsing, formalism went through these stages. Number one, 1916 to 1921. In this stage, the total focus of the Russian formalist or all formalists was on the poetic language and prose composition. Number two, 1921 to 1928, and formalists attempted to reconsider and re-examine a lot of literary glitches to reform their theory. The last stage is from 1928 to 1935. This period was the decline of Russian formalism due to Stalin's historical and political pressure. Dear students, now let us find some key concepts in the Russian formalism. And these are number one, defamiliarization or Ostanian. Number two, literariness. Number three, formula and suicide. Defamiliarization was introduced by Viktor Sklarsky in his essay written in 1917, Art is Technique. Literariness was introduced by Roman Jakobsen in 1919 and Fevula and Suzette was, were, was introduced by Vladimir Fropp and Dr. Shkoski. Let's define them one by one. The first one, defamiliarization. What is defamiliarization in literature according to formalist? Defamiliarization involves exploring differences between literature and reality. It can mean drawing attention to something that is usually familiar but making it seem alien or just drawing attention to the act of writing itself and forcing the readers to reckon with what makes something our cup hard. In other words, according to Russian farmers, literature makes familiar things and happenings appear new and interesting to us. Uh, let's proceed to the next topic, literariness. What is literariness in uh, Russian formalism? Literariness is the feature that makes a given work of literature a given work, a work of literature. In other words, it differentiates between the language of a literary work and non-literary work. Uh, let's proceed to the last topic of Russian formalism, literary theory, and these are Fibula and Suzette. What is Suzette or Fibula? Fibula is the elemental materials of a story. Whatever is the story about, what events may be presented in the story as Fibula. Fibula is equivalent to a plot. It is the sequential order of those events in story to convey the story to the reader in a cohesive way.
In other words, Tabula refers to the chronological sequence of events in a narrative and Suzet is the representation of those events. Students and all viewers, soon I will be with a new video about new criticism, the second school of thoughts of Russian formalism. See you soon. Fabulous and keep watching my video, please.